Easter Sunday, 12th of April 2020, and I'm having a full lazy day off today. Um, so I've had a lie in and some cups of coffee, catch up on social media accounts that I run, uh, and a few messages out on Facebook and Twitter. It's cloudy and overcast today, and a little bit chilly out, so I'm going to put a, a shirt on in a moment over this t shirt. And I'm going to do something which I've never done since we've had our caravan, which must be three years. I'm going to clean the caravan today. Um, so I've just been rummaging in the cupboards and I've bought some things. And I can't remember whether I got these from an Aldi or a Lidl or a caravan shop. But I've got some concentrated caravan cleaner. So I'm going to get that into a sponge with some warm water. Into a sponge. I'm going to put this into a bucket with some warm water and sponge clean the van and you get black stripes on the van as well where like the guttering is and things like that so i've got a um a black streak remover spray oh interesting and i've just found an attachment for the little vacuum so i'm going to give the inside i've just found uh, this thing which i've been using the hoover and i lost that anyway i've got a little hoover so i'm going to um Get the caravan a hoover out and the seating area good old brush and a mop um and this afternoon i'm actually going to cook something pretty decent i'm going to make myself a nice homemade spag bowl so i got some mints last week which is just in date i've got some mushrooms i've got some onions i've got pasta i've got uh, some pasta sauce and i've got cheese um so i'm going to make myself a nice tea today and uh yeah a nice lazy day but as i say i'm actually going to give this caravan a proper clean on the outside including the roof which has never been cleaned yeah so this is the front of the van um and so this is a bit of a strange one so unlike the british caravans that tend to have all the windows at the front and people sit in them a bit like a goldfish bowl this one is a bit topsy-turvy so one great thing about this um, not having a window at the front is you don't get stone chips on the um on the windows but it's it's grubby and it's not a clean for a while um and let's say stain these eggs i've obviously i've got i'm near a tree so you get bird shit so i'm going to give it all a good clean um and let's go let me let, i've got some ladders let's go and have a look up on the roof so I'm going to keep the awning up because that side's pretty okay. We're going to give the back a clean. Up along the top, obviously the windows. Here there's um, a lot of muck. And, uh, yeah, okay. And then let's put, the, put some ladders. And up on the roof. So yeah, this is very grubby. Um, so you need to see another video of mine where I had a problem with this uh, mushroom vent. So there's a bit of a, a tailor botch up job on that, but it stayed on, not come off, does the job. Yeah, we're gonna give this roof a good clean. Right, so a bucket of warm water with this caravan cleaner, a sponge, and the microfiber cloths. This is um, a mop which we're going to use up on the roof. Um, tea towel ready. Uh, let's try not to get ourselves killed. So, initially getting some of the muck off, although there is some more stuff that's a little bit ingressed a little bit. So we'll um, see what we can do with that, even to give the skylights a clean. Look at that, bloody hell. Uh, so we're going to go all over on the roof here and then we'll get the 
hose pipe and give it all a split a, a, a hose pipe down a hose piping down yeah yeah so where i can reach um and we've got more of the grubby stuff um doing this by hand so we work our way along uh yeah a lot of the, a lot of the shit's coming off a lot of the grime's definitely coming off here we go As I say, I'm not too sure when this roof has been cleaned. For all I know, it may never have been cleaned. And here you can definitely see a big improvement. So obviously this has been cleaned, wiped, and um, giving it a dry off. Look, look at the difference. Excellent. Yeah, so well, we've got these um, tough bits that aren't wiping over. Let's say sort of bird shit. Just a sponge, give it a, give it a go, sponge over, and down we go. So I'm just down at the back of the van now, and as you can see, it's um, yeah, it's really, really, really mucky. Uh, but very, very gently. If we watch, let's give that a wipe over. And see how it's all coming up clean. So. Gonna finish off the the roof on both sides and then gonna get the hose pipe up and um give it a hosing down with fresh fresh clean water. Okay, it's top of the um window frame. You see there's moss growing. So that's all gonna get clean, but what I'm gonna do is as I say I'm up at the top now and I'm gonna work my way down, but look how look how bad this is. So, gas fire vent. Um, yeah. Even that's coming up. Um, even that's coming up cleaner. Slowly. Slowly. Okay, and we work our way around the roof now. Rinse the roof off. Yeah, what a difference. Nice, shiny, shiny roof. Right, finish off the roof and then start doing the rest of the van around the sides. Okay, so we've got some runoff of the water up there. It's got some streaking on it. So we're going to sponge down here with this caravan cleaner. Um, hose, I'm going to say, get into some of the corners. Hose, and then if needed, the black street remover. And then shammy down. Yeah, so there's, there's a say pointed out earlier on these windows. This uh, all the moss, which we're gonna all cleaning off. Yeah, good good progress. So we're on the back on the front of the caravan. And say this is um, turned behind the car. So this is the mucky bit. Um, as you say, they're just gonna be cleaning it off. Can you see it's coming off? Anyway, slowly. So this Adria's got um, a long A-frame, so it has got um, a bike rack on it. So we've never actually carried a bike on it, but obviously in here is filthy as well. So let's get um, a bit of a scour, and we're just going to clean inside all the all of this framework as well. You see all the algae on it. Give that a good clean. Right, and give this all a, a hosing off. And then we'll um, come around with a chamois. And chamois everything off. Yeah, 
Uh, so, just with the chamois leather, get rid of the wall so that's sat, sat down. And look at that, isn't that looking dapper? Uh, show me over the windows. I think feel a bit like a a window cleaner. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so that's been long overdue. Um, yeah, long, 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 long overdue. Looking a lot dapper. Uh, So you will notice that the awning is still on the van um, and I haven't done that side and the reason for that is fingers crossed in a few weeks when the season actually kicks in we're going to be moving the van um, to another location and I'm going to be living without the awning so once that's off we'll give that a, that side a, a damn good clean as well but happy days right there you are so cleaning the caravan on Easter Sunday if you like that give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell ding ding and you'll get to know when I'm uploading a new video and um, take care happy Easter Sunday and I'll see you guys on the next one